Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and happy Valentine's Day. Today, for the first time, I am trying to bake a cake. So I hope you guys like this video and all the ingredients will be in the description. So let's begin. The first step would be to separate an egg white and beat it until it's double in volume. This step roughly took me about 5 minutes. Once the egg is beaten, put it in a separate bowl and in the same bowl add the egg yolk that, that was left from the egg white and 2 eggs. I am using about 1 cup plus 2 tablespoons of sugar. Once the eggs are lightly beaten, add 1 third of the total sugar that we have into the batter and mix it thoroughly along with 120 grams of butter. The butter should be softened butter in room temperature but I didn't have time or something I don't know what happened my butter was not softened so I added the sugar little by little to mix the butter into the eggs hoping that it wouldn't crumble which it didn't. Now since I'm using I'm making a chocolate and strawberry cake I had some strawberry milk I saw I added about 70 ml of strawberry milk into the batter. Once the batter is well incorporated, add 1 fourth teaspoon of orange essence and half teaspoon of vanilla essence. For the dry ingredients, add 1 third cup of cocoa powder and one and a half cups of flour. I'm using all-purpose flour along with one teaspoon of baking powder. Mix half of the dry ingredients into the batter thoroughly. Once mixed, add one third cup of oil and mix again, followed by the rest of the sugar <clears throat> and the rest of the dry ingredients, the cocoa powder, the baking soda, baking powder and the flour. If your batter is a little dry, which mine was, add 30 ml to 60 ml of water. The water should be room temperature, neither hot or cold. Now my batter is almost ready so in the meantime I am going to preheat my oven at 180 degrees celsius. Once the oven is preheated mix the egg white that we did at the first step lightly into the batter. The egg white has air in it and we don't want to mix it very thoroughly and very roughly otherwise all the air will escape. Divide the batter into two buttered and lined pans and bake them at 180 degrees celsius for 15 to 20 minutes. My cakes took 18 minutes to bake but the timing will depend on your oven and the size of the oven. Once the cake is baked, pull them out of the oven and cool them completely. I am using cake frosting to frost the cake. So in a bowl I added 2 cups of cake frosting and then I blended it to stiff bakes which means when the bowl is inserted, invert, sorry, when the bowl is inverted, the frosting won't tip out and fall onto the table. It will hold its shape. Like that. The frosting won't come out. <laughs> Now 
Now for the Oreo filling, I added one cup of frosting and beat it until it was stiff and then I added the Oreo mixture, Oreo crumble that I made and mixed it into the filling. Once this step is done, all the preparations are done and now we will move on into my favorite part that is assembling the cake. Okay, let's begin with assembling the cake. First place one cake on a cake stand. I, I used the cake pan to prop the cake up because the height was a little bit low and I was uncomfortable with it. The cakes were very moist so I really liked this recipe. Put a, I have put about 60% of the Oreo mixture into in the middle. Placing the second cake on top and covering the whole cake with the rest of the mixture. Once the cake is fully covered and coated in the filling and cream, place it in the fridge for at least 2 hours to set. Once the cake is chilled, <coughs> cover the whole cake with the whipping cream. I infused the whipping cream with strawberry jelly crystals after it was whipped using a scraper smooth the edges and the top now the main important tip over here is to add the jelly crystals once the cream is fully whipped otherwise the whole cream will turn pink which I didn't want you can see light specks of red over here that is the look I was going for I didn't want the whole cream to be pink I'm trying not to do a perfect job over here because all my sides will be covered so it doesn't matter there should be enough cream to hold the chocolate uh, strawberry wafers that I will be using. Now once the edges and the tops are covered, I used a comb scraper that has ridges in, in them to give it a nice stick. Finally at the end, I decorated the edges of my cake with strawberry wafers and used a ribbon to tie the whole thing together. That would do two things, stop the wafers from falling out and also will give the cake a nice look. And there's my cat. Now once everything is done, I decorated my cake, the top of the cake with some remaining Oreos. I, I was trying to not put anything on top but the cake lacked something. So I put some Oreos on the top along with some wafers, some chocolates, strawberries and I decorated i sprinkled the edges of the cake with the remaining of the uh, strawberry wafers that i had i crushed them and decor sprinkled the edges of the cake with that and the cake turned out looking good for my first cake it was amazing i hope you guys like this video and i will see you guys in the next one bye and happy valentine's day